Morning, Abotai, Ayrev Shabbat Shalom. This coming Shabbat is quite significant in that the maftir of Parashat Shavua, Parashat Kitetze, is that of Zachor et Asher Asal Amalek. What we read before Purim today, that this week's parasha is actually the Parashat Shavua of Parashat Zachor. The poskim bring down Aruch HaShulchan and others say that a person who wasn't able to hear Parashat Zachor on the Shabbat before Purim can come to Betakneset this coming Shabbat and hear and have in mind to be Yotze the Chova. And he's Yotze, doesn't matter if it's the Shabbat before Purim, that's the Takanami de Rabbanan, but at the end of the day, a person would still be Yotze min Torah on this week. There's an interesting chidush, la halacha, that Maharam Shik, a Talmid Muvhak of the Khatam Sofer, brings down in his Perush, the Sefer Mitzvot, Mitzvah Tafreshe, says an interesting thing. He quotes, you know, the Pasuk tells us about Amalek that it ends off, Lo Tishkach, you're not allowed to forget what Amalek did to you. We learn there's a pasuk in Tehilim, Nishkachti kemet milev haiti kichli oved, which means that I became like, I, I got forgotten, like a dead person. He says, Chazal teach us, how long does it take after a person passes away for his relatives to forget him? Twelve months. Takes twelve months and then he gets forgotten. We see from here that everything in life gets forgotten in a maximum of twelve months, which means, according to this, he says that Parashat Zachor, since the Torah tells us, Lo tishkach, you're not allowed to forget what Amalek did to you, you have to read, you have to make sure to read Parashat Zachor once every 12 months. Okay, what's the issue though? This past year, we read Parashat Zachor in Chodesh Adar. This coming year is going to be a leap year, which means we're going to read Parashat Zachor in Adar Sheni, in Adar Bet, which means between last Adar, when we read Parashat Zachor, and this coming Adar Sheni, how many months is that going to be? It's going to be 13 months. So he says, now you have a problem. Now you're forgetting Amalek in that period of time because you're not going to read until 13 months after. So he says, therefore, according to this, he quotes his Rebbe, the Chatam Sofer, who says that on Shabbat, Parashat Ki you should have in mind to be Yotzeh once again with the mitzvah of Zechirat Ma'ase Amalek and not to forget them when you read Parashat Zachor. That's the Chidush of Ma'aram Shik. So, the only thing is, unlike a person who didn't hear it on Shabbat Zachor, to be Yotzeh during Parashat Ki that we find in the poskim, this Chidush of Ma'aram Shik, besides for the Ma'aram Shik himself, none of the other poskim bring him down. They don't bring him down la'alacha, the Tashliach Tzibur should tell the Kahal, you know, we're less than, uh, we're, we're, we're more than uh, 12 months away from hearing Parashat Zachor again, so you should have Kavanah. Nobody brings that down. Why is that? Says the God of Shlomo Zalman Erbach, quoted in Halichot Shlomo. He says, interesting. He says, you know why Minhag HaOlam is not to be makpid about this? Listen to this. Let's say even on two regular years. Every year are we makpid that never should 12 months pass by? What happens if the year before we read Parashat Zachor on Chet Be'adar? Let's say, let's say Shabbat Zachor was Chet Be'adar. And then the next year, also a regular year, Shabbat Zachor, what do you think it falls out exactly on the same date or before Chet Be'adar? What happens the year afterwards if it comes out on Yud Gimal Be'adar? Yeah, that can happen also. From Chet Be'adar of one year until Yud Gimal Be'adar of the next year. How many months is that? It's 12 months and change. You're a few days after. So what does that mean? All the poskim say, oh, year passed. Uh, now, you have to, now you have to deal with it? No? Sometimes, see, what do you see from here? It has nothing to do with 12 months. It has to do with reading Parashat Zachor once a year. And you're reading Parashat Zachor once a year. And therefore, La Lachaun Maase says the says the governor of Shlomo Zan Ma'arbach. He says you don't have to be makpid. The person wants to be mitkaven yafe. The shleich tzibur wants to say something. It's fine. But Minhag Israel is not to be makpid about this thing to say that you should be yotze this Shabbat so as uh, so as not to let twelve months pass because, like he proves, it doesn't have to be once every twelve months. It has to be once a year. Vizel, whatever that year is, if it's a twelve month year, twelve months. If a thir- thirteen month year, thirteen months. And therefore, the minhag is not to be makpid. Shabbat shalom vorach.